Southern Idaho's pelican population is exploding, and the Blackfoot River's native Yellowstone cutthroat trout is paying a price. We've documented uh, significant declines in the numbers of migrating Yellowstone cutthroat trout that have returned to the trap in the Blackfoot River above the reservoir, um, down to as few as uh, 12 to 15 fish in the worst year. And so uh, clearly there's a significant risk there, yes. Pelicans have set up two nesting colonies, one on an island in the Blackfoot Reservoir. The other is located about 100 miles further west at Minidoka Wildlife Refuge. Thousands of birds have emerged from these colonies, but it is the Blackfoot Reservoir population that worries Idaho fish and game the most. Pelicans prey on fish here, and they are devastating the Yellowstone cutthroat trout population. The main goal would be to simply prevent those birds from foraging along that reach of the river, either through uh, lethal or non-lethal hazing techniques. Fish and Game has tried for years to reduce the pelican's impact on cutthroat trout using non-lethal hazing methods with little success. Pelicans colonized artificial islands created by Idaho's reservoirs, man-made safe havens from predators and other natural threats and pelican numbers have exploded in less than a decade, from 700 breeding age birds to about 2,400 in just the Blackfoot colony alone. At the same time, Yellowstone cutthroat numbers have plummeted. It is time to take the next step. We would um, target those birds actively foraging on Yellowstone cutthroat trout along that reach. Under the plan, the Blackfoot colony would be reduced back to 700 breeding age birds over the next five years by fish and game biologists, a proposal the agency does not make lightly. Given the, the at-risk status of the pelican uh, and the fact that it is classified as a protected non-game, we wouldn't even broach the subject, I think, if, uh, if we felt like we had other options. After the public comment period ends later this spring, the Idaho Fish and Game Commission will consider a final plan at its May meeting in Pocatello. If the plan is approved, Fish and Game will enter negotiations with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And so we have to find a way for uh, healthy fish populations as well as viable pelican populations. The plan's goal is to create balance in an artificial environment where pelicans have the upper hand. And I think everybody would like to see uh, every, you know, pelicans sustained and maintained at those two nesting colonies in a viable manner, and we feel like we've got room for both. For more information on Fish and Game's pelican management plan, visit our website at fishandgame.idaho.gov.